guys and welcome back so like today i'm gonna i think i mentioned it in a previous video i'm doing a care video for my sick insects so um i think there are probably there are a lot of people out there that kind of think oh stick insects easy pet to look after they can be but sometimes they can't be they can be like just dropped out the picture a lot of the time and you just forget about them because they're insects but you still got to think about them as a living creature so it's kind of a bit controversial on like how people look after them some people think they're amazing best pet ever some people first week or so look after them amazingly then for the next month or for however long they have them they're just put to the side and that's just not right so today i'm going to do a proper care video on how to care for them so yes hopefully this will be my first reasonably long video hopefully about 10 minutes rather than my really short normal videos i think you've probably noticed this is really long it's really really sorry about that so yeah i need to get one thing wait one second <coughs> Got it. that's all i was getting spray bottle yeah spray. right so a lot of people i've seen literally so it's totally fine like yeah it don't really matter they keep them on tissue paper which is absolutely fine i don't just because this is how i set them up sorry i shouldn't do that so oh i really hope there's none on that there is there's four so there's two there i don't know if you can see them right, focused there we go right so there's two there and i've got this massive adult somewhere no idea where this adult is <laughs> literally just like spraying like yay so much fun so i think they're really interesting pets to have like just if you look at them start to oh my word focus please and like start to probably look at them they look they are amazing pets to like have they are really uh, like interesting pets to have so well that's at least what i think personally so this is one of my i don't tend to give it my stick insects names just because i just don't oh please focus it's not focusing Oh, come on. Well, yeah, there he is. So what I do every week is I change out the IV, which you're kind of meant to do. So I do that. Like, yeah. Uh, well, I make sure it's okay. And I keep my IV on um, a, you know, like a pot of water so it lasts a bit longer. So maybe if I'm away, I don't have to always clean it out which is really helpful um there are some cons they can fall in which is not good so yeah i suppose that's really the only thing that to be honest isn't bad i keep them on a cocoa fiber substrate because that's a really good like absorbent humidity holding substrate which is kind of the stuff you want it's literally just normal cocoa fiber right focus please just normal cocoa fiber just ah sorry oh, right that's basically what it is that's just like for pets at home you can get it from your local pet store from like wherever so that's good um i kind of i don't i think i keep the cork bark in there just because it looks nice and it's decorative so yeah um i suppose really the only other thing you've got to be mindful of is like because sometimes if you feed them brambles bleh, brambles brambles they can like um like hurt them if they they fall on them or things like that because they can have brambles as well that's why i personally use ivy mainly because i've got tons of it um and they they like it and it's totally fine so yeah um they don't need the water dish but i can probably take that out what is in that oh it's full of poo yay happy days full of poo yay great literally so yeah 
Also, you've got to be mindful of it. If they're kept in a really hot, humid enclosure and you have, like, mature adults, they will breed and you will get lots of little ones. So, yeah, I had two and I've just got to go and get one of them. This one, hang on, I'll tell you a bit later. This one died of natural causes, like... A little while ago so yeah I just pinned it as you do do you remember oh come on focus thank you focus so I literally just pinned it so that I could remember it I think it's really cool to do this at least with like insects and stuff because you can then remember them and they actually look pretty good <laughs> I think I have shown you that before in a previous, I think, stick and sec video. Um, so yeah, sorry, that was totally out of focus, that whole thing. So yeah, um, they are really cool pets, but they're kind of underestimated. You can get loads of different types. These are Indian walking stick and sex, giant Indian stick and sex, things like something like that. I don't know the exact name, but yeah, they are. They can be really cool to have, like if you start to look at them and watch them. They are really cool. So, I also like daily. The only thing I do daily is I just give them a light spray. Just to get them a bit active. Because they tend to get very active when um, it's wet. So, here we go. I've just seen. I haven't seen this guy in ages. He's down the back. He is, like, just there. That's one of my adults. Oh, come on, focus. Yeah, that's one of my adults, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, this is just sat on my washing basket. <laughs> yeah, definitely so professional, like, unbelievably professional. This has been a really, really long rambling video. I'm getting off topic again. I'm really sorry about this, but I am. So, yeah, that's basically what sums up my care. I think they are a very underestimated pet, and they can be really enjoyable to own if you know what you're doing and stuff, so... Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Please like and subscribe.